In this video, hopefully you've had permutation and combination both. So here I'm going to show you the difference between the two and how you can tell the difference between the two. So permutation, just really quickly, is when order matters. And combination is used when order does not matter. And essentially, we have to make sure we don't count things twice. You should only count things once. And, in a, and if we do everything as a permutation, you'll always overcount. So you've got to have two, a permutation and a combination. So here's the first one. So there's a group of 10 people. A $20 bill, a $10 bill, and a $5 bill prize will be given out. How many ways can the prizes be distributed? So hit pause on the video and see if you know which this is and then try to solve it. All right, this is a permutation because order matters. It matters who gets the 20. It matters who gets the 10 and who gets the five. At least it's gonna matter to them. <laughs> it may not matter to the person giving out the money, but it definitely matters to the people receiving the money. So there's, uh, a, this is a permutation. So we have three bins to fill. And I always like solving permutations this way. So there's 10 possibilities for the first person, uh, for the first prize, for the $20 bill. So this would be the $20 bill. There's ten or nine possibilities. I started writing the $10 bill there. For the $10 bill, now we've chosen somebody for the 20. Now we only have nine possibilities for the 10. And for the $5 bill, we have eight possibilities. And so this is this would be your answer, or 720, 10 times 9 times 8. If you did it with the permutation formula, it would be 10 uh, P3, which would be 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 3, which is 7 factorial. And if you did that, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is 10 factorial. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is 7 factorial. You could cross those out and you're left with 10 times 9 times 8. So that's using the formula. You could also use a calculator to solve that. And may, at the end of the video, I'll show you the calculator method. So now let's try this one. So in a group of 10 people, three $5 prizes will be given. How many ways can the prize be distributed? So again, pause the video, see if you know what this is. It's probably pretty obvious since I just did the other one. But go ahead and try and solve it and see if you know how to do it. So in this case, 10 people, we're going to do three prizes. Order does not matter. So we're going to go ahead and use a combination, which would be 10 choose three. So we're going to give out three prizes. And so... What, again, I like to solve this with the bins, at, like a permutation, but then just divide out the repeating part. So there's 10 for the first $5 prize. If you already chosen that, now there's only 9 people, then 8 people, which is 720. However, we need to divide out, we've counted things twice, so we need to divide out 3 factorial, or 6 ways of counting things twice. And so you're left with 120 this time. And if you look at the formula, it's 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial, just like a permutation, but you'd also divide by 3 factorial. And that gives you a 120. I'm not going to go through the multiplication on that. So here's another one that's a different scenario. A local school board with 8 people needs to form a committee with three people. How many ways can this committee be formed? So again, see if you know which one this is. Hit pause, try to solve it. So in this case, this is a combination. Order doesn't matter. They're a committee. They all have equal jobs to do in a committee. So we've got eight choosing three, which would be 
8 factorial divided by 8 minus 3, which would be 5 factorial, also divided by 3 factorial of what we're choosing. So this time I'll get out a, the TI Inspire calculator just to show you how to plug them in. So you'd hit Menu, Probability. This is after hitting Calculator, by the way. This is a combination, and it was 8 choose 3. So there's 8, 3. Hit enter, and that is 56. So there's 56 ways, if you have a school board with 8 people, there's 56 ways to make a committee of 3. So the next thing, let's see if we got another problem on here. Yeah. So a local school board with 8 people needs to form a committee with 3 different responsibilities. How many ways can this committee be formed? Obviously, this is a permutation which would be 8p3. So I'm just going to jump straight into, since we know it's a permutation, it would be 8 times 7 times 6. Or we could go ahead and use the Web 2.0 calculator just to show you kind of all the different possibilities. I mean, whatever you have for technology is great. It probably does it. So I'm going to hit permutation. 8, 3 should be larger than the combination. There's the formula hit equals and it's 336 so there you have it so let's take it up a notch let's say a local school board with eight people needs to form a committee with three people but we will throw in a twist if five of the members are girls and three of the members are boys how many ways can the committee be formed if two must be girls and one must be a boy so hit pause on the video and see if you can solve this. So I'll go ahead and just show you quickly on a calculator how to do this one. I've got the TI Inspire loaded up again. So you hit Menu, Probability. This is a combination. And your combination, oh, and I've already forgotten the number of people. So since we have five uh, girls and we have to choose uh, Two of them have to be girls. So this is going to be a combination of five choose two. The order doesn't matter here. And then there's one has to be a boy, and there's three boys. So we're going to look, it's going to look something like this. It's going to be uh, five choose two times. You're going to t figure that out and then take it times. Um, one, uh, let's see, we got how many boys? We got three boys, five of them are girls, three are boys, so yeah, three choosing one. And you can uh, get out your uh, formulas for that, uh, or you can go ahead and just figure it in terms of bins. It's going to be five for the first girl, then four for the second, which would be 20, but you got to divide out the repeaters, so we're going to divide that by two times and the same with the boys we only choose one of those so it's you only have three possibilities with no repeating and so it's 10 times 3 or 30 and I won't show the calculator you can who I've already shown you how to do that so I hope this helps you and I'll see you next time